Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And also, happy holidays. It's officially December, which means we've been living in the UK for nine months now. So typically we do these catch-up videos every few months, just to sort of let you guys know how things have been going since we moved from Canada to the UK. And since it's our nine month catch-up, and because it's December, we figured we would still do that, but we can do it while we decorate our tree. So let's get decorating. So we got this beautiful tree from Tesco, and we got these ornaments from b and and I guess waiting until December to buy Christmas decorations probably wasn't the best call because pickings were slim, but I'm happy with what we've got. This is actually our first time decorating for Christmas together. We've lived together since 2019, so it will be our third Christmas since living together. But when we first moved in, our apartment was way too small, and then last year we knew we were moving to the UK, so we didn't have any reason to decorate. So usually we would start these videos off talking about work and stuff, but there hasn't been much change really to our work-life balance. Like we're still working with the same companies and that's all been fine. The only real big difference for me at least is I've actually been going into the office a little bit now. So both the London and Chelmsford office, which is good because my industry is very social and it's you know nice to be able to actually get going out for lunches and coffees and that type of stuff again. My work updates have actually been pretty similar to Sean. Actually, I guess my industry is not as social, but I've been going into the office quite a bit and it's been nice to, I don't know, see people, meet people in person, um, which has been good. It is December and as of the last week, news has kind of come across about COVID updates and the new variant and stuff like that. And because of that, it already seems like they're encouraging us to work from home a little bit more and canceling some Christmas events which is unfortunate, but also valid. So I guess we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. And speaking of Christmas, we get asked all the time, what are we doing for Christmas this year? Because we are not gonna be spending it with our friends and family. But our friends that we've made here, Hannah and Reese, were really kind and invited us to come to their place for Christmas, which was super thoughtful of them. And honestly, this month we're pretty busy with Christmas plans. I just did a wreath making workshop with my friend Sarah, which was incredible. And we're doing Winter Wonderland in a week or two. Yeah, it's the big uh, Christmas thing they do at Hyde Park in London, which should be a lot of fun. I We've only been to like the Christmas market in Toronto and I expect this will be way better. I hope this is way better. We'll see, but it's really nice. And the fact that Hannah and Reese invited us to Christmas at their house is really kind. And I think just the fact that people are checking in to make sure we have Christmas plans yeah. is also just really sweet and kind, but I'm sure you're wondering why we're not going home for Christmas. And that's because we were literally just there like two months ago. So I'm sure you want to hear all about our time in Canada. So we went back to Canada at like end of September, beginning of October, which was really nice. It was kind of close to Canadian Thanksgiving. So we were kind of able to squeeze that in and sort of make it like a Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthday combo trip. So we kind of decided that was a better time to go just because like around Christmas, obviously everybody's so busy. So it would have been really hard to see all of our friends and family. And then on top of that too, like Canadian winters, I mean, that's kind of why we left. We didn't really want to be there when it was cold and snowing. So we figured, you know, fall is a good time to go. The other nice thing about going to see our friends and family in October was that the weather was decent enough that we could kind of drive around, but also COVID was kind of calmer two months ago than it is now. And when we moved to the UK, we didn't have the opportunity because of COVID to really say goodbye to our friends. And a lot of them we didn't get to see. And the ones we did, it was all outside in the cold winter of February in Canada, which is not a pleasant time. And we all had to do social distance and freeze our little butts off. So wasn't a great time, so it was kind of nice to have a reunion tour where we could say hi and bye to all the people we care most about. I mean, beyond just seeing our friends and family, it was also just a mad dash to like go to all the different food places that we missed. So like Eastside Mario, Swiss Chalet, some of our favorite little restaurants in Toronto. So we did like a nice little mini food tour while we were there as well. Not to mention all the things we got to bring back in our suitcase. So if you've been following us for a while or watching these updates, you would know that when we moved to the UK, we brought pretty much nothing with us, just clothes. So we pretty much just brought two empty suitcases back to Canada with us and filled them up with things that we owned. So stuff from our storage locker and also things that we have missed a lot. And that sounds like really sweet, but honestly, it was the most insane like smorgasbord of like everything and I feel really bad for whoever had to like look at our suitcases at security because it probably looked insane. Literally just filled with smart food popcorn, <laughs> Tylenol, polysporin, and then just a bunch of random like souvenirs from our trips around the world. So it was nice that we now have these things but 
was an interesting experience bringing them back. Honestly, I was amazed that her bags didn't go overweight with all the Bath and Body Works candles that Alicia brought back, but it was also nice to be able to bring some of this stuff back just to show our British friends, you know, some of the things like Alicia mentioned about the smart food. We brought so much back and basically we were just handing it out to our friends as they would come by, which we actually had a bunch of them over for like a Canadian Thanksgiving shortly after we got back. So we did the turkey and the stuffing, the whole nine yards. And it was a really nice time, honestly. We had a great experience with them. It was nice because we promised them the traditional turkey and stuffing and pumpkin pie and all that. And it was great because we have never cooked a Thanksgiving dinner before. I have definitely never cooked a pumpkin pie from scratch and my own dough and all that good stuff. And it worked for us because although the dinner was great, even if it was terrible, they would have no idea what it was supposed to taste like anyways. Honestly, the last couple of months have been insanely hectic because now you know we are in Canada and then we did Thanksgiving, but we also did Paris for my birthday. Yeah, and that was a great trip. We just took the Eurostar down. It was really easy. So much better than flying. Oh, uh, so much better than uh, flying. Yeah, so much. <laughs> Uh, and then I actually just got back from Latvia. I took a weekend to go. My work gave us all like a bonus day off and Ryanair had 10 pound flights. So I was like, why not? Let's go to Latvia. So we've definitely been able to make the most of living in England and traveling. And I think our next trip is in a couple of weeks, we're going to Edinburgh for post Christmas celebrations. Yeah, yeah, we figured, you know, since we aren't gonna be home and not seeing friends and family, we might as well do something to pass the time. And for me, I'm super lucky because my company gives us the entire week between Christmas and New Year's off, like fully paid, doesn't come out of my annual leave. So I figured it would be a waste not to take a trip. So I think that's pretty much all we have planned for 2021. We already have a few things in the hopper for 2022. Our biggest trip probably is gonna be Morocco. So we're planning to do that in April. We've been wanting to go to Morocco for years now, and now it's actually really easily accessible for us. The other big thing is gonna be going back to Canada again next year. We actually have a pair of weddings to go back for next year. My best friend and then Alicia's brother are both getting married like two weeks apart. So that'll be really fun, but also very stressful because weddings are never the most fun when you're actually in the wedding party. If there's anything I've learned from the last couple bits of traveling and then also just going back to Canada is how much I love these weekend or like four day getaways. Uh, we always just did bigger trips, like being in Canada, weekend getaway, not overly feasible, but being here, it's super feasible and it's absolutely amazing. Like when we went to Croatia, we did that for just a weekend. That was incredible. Paris for a weekend, incredible. And I don't know, like I'm really just hoping that our 2022 is just filled with a bunch of like short bursts, but like frequent bursts and hopefully some places we can get to not on an airplane. We definitely want to get around the UK a lot more too. We really only got to go to the Cotswolds this year. So, you know, next year we'd like to do Wales or Cornwall. You know, we've heard great things about both of those. So hopefully fingers crossed next year, another UK trip as well. So all in all, it's just kind of crazy to me how at home we're feeling. Like we've loved living here pretty much since we got here, but now that it's been nine months, I don't know, it's just like, it feels so homely, but I'm getting really stressed out because my visa is only good for two years, nine months is really close to one year. And we have to start saving up and figuring out how I can extend my visa because I am not going back to Canada anytime soon. And I just feel so like welcome since we've moved to England. It's funny because before we went back to Canada, we were like, oh, it'd be nice to go home and see our friends and family. And then when we were in Canada, it's like, oh, I can't wait to go back home. So it's just kind of funny how it's only been nine months, but really England does already feel like home for us. It's just such an interesting phenomenon. And although we still feel like super comfortable and at home, there's still so much for us to experience and learn. Like even the other day, I was on a call with a woman. She was asking me my email. I was trying to explain to her that there was like a period in it and she had no idea what I was talking about until I realized it's supposed to be a full stop. And it was just another experience of like minor things that I guess you yeah. don't know about until you experience them firsthand. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there'll be plenty of things like that that we're still learning as we go along here. But thanks again for decorating with us. And I'm sure you want to see what the tree looks like now that all the balls are hung up. decorating our tree with us. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, we even got these cute little ornaments from some of the vendors in town. They had a little Christmas market going the other day. And it's nice to have some more like personal touches in our house uh, because it's pretty bare since we moved in. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So thank you again so much for watching guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Also be sure to check out our TikTok and Instagram for more like day-to-day -day updates. And if you have any questions, 
let us know in the comments. We're happy to answer them and make sure to check out some of our other videos. Again, we've been traveling quite a bit, so we should have some good videos for you to watch as well. And I guess we'll see you at our next update. Yeah, bye guys. Oh, we are up.